In this lesson, I'll introduce you to Web Identity Federation. To begin, we'll start from the AWS documentation page, click the Developers tab, under the section called Software Development Kits, click AWS SDK for JavaScript. Click JavaScript in the browser, Getting Started Guide. Scroll all the way to the bottom of the page, and under Next Steps, click Configuring the SDK to configure Web Identity Federation in the browser. Scroll down to the section titled Using Web Identity Federation to Authenticate Users. Then scroll down to the list of web-specific documentation pages to configure and retrieve access tokens for users to log in. Select Facebook Login. This will take you to a link, https developers.facebook.com forward slash docs forward slash JavaScript titled Facebook SDK for JavaScript. If you're a Facebook user and have not already signed in, please log in. Once you've logged in and have accessed the developers page, click the My Apps tab on the upper blue toolbar, then select Add a New App. You will then be shown a prompt asking you to select a platform to get started. You can choose from iOS, Android, Facebook Canvas, and Website. For this example, I'll select Website. Next, you'll be directed to a page that allows you to choose an existing app. On the upper right-hand corner, select the box that says Skip and Create App ID, since we are creating our first app. You will then be prompted to enter a display name, the name of your app or website. I'm going to type My First App. You may then optionally enter a namespace, a unique identifier for your app, and to indicate whether this is a test version or another app. Select No, and then under Category, I'm going to select Business. Click Create App. After you click Create App, a security check prompt will appear asking you to select all the photos of a certain thing, in this case, an animal, to verify that you are not a robot. Once you have identified the request the security check is asking of you, click Submit and hope you're not, in fact, a cyborg. And once your app has been registered in the dashboard, you should now see an app ID, an API version, and an, an app secret key. To see this secret key, click the Show button. You will need to copy both the app ID and the app secret since you'll be needing them to set up your login page. So now that we have your app from Facebook login, we want to go back to the documentation page titled Configuring Web Identity Federation in the Browser and create an IM role for the identity provider and for the application. We can do this from the Management Console. So go ahead to your dashboard now. Then click the IAM service. Select Roles from the left column, click Create New Role, provide a name, in this case I'll enter Test AWS, and I'll click Next Step on the lower bottom right side of the page. Next, you'll be asked to select a role type. I will select the last option called Role for Identity Provider Access. Here you can grant access to web identity providers Web Single Sign-On, Web SSO, access to SAML providers, and grant API access to SAM providers. I'll select Grant Access to Web Identity Providers. From the Identity pull-down, select Facebook. Where it says Application ID, go and paste the App ID from your App Dashboard on Facebook. You will then get a trust policy that basically says allow assume role with web identity. Grab Facebook as a condition and then click next step. Go to your dashboard and from the services list select IAM. On the left column, select policies. 
Create Policy. Use the Policy Generator. For the AWS service, select Amazon S3. Under Select Actions, I'm going to allow and select Get Object and Put Object from the pull-down list. For the Amazon resource name, I'm going to enter ARN colon AWS colon S3 colon 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 XAPI.org hyphen website. I'm going to append forward slash asterisk so that my get and put operations work on all objects within that bucket. Then click add statement. View the statement below and then click next step. If everything looks good on the review policy page, click create policy. Now we must attach the policy to the role we previously created. Under Dashboard, click Roles on the left side pane. Then I will select the role I created, Test AWS. Under the Permissions tab, click Attach Policy. Click on Customer Managed Policies under the Policy Type pull-down, and then I'll click on our policy called Policy Gen Facebook. Now under the Roles option on the left side panel, click Roles. Select Test AWS to view the summary page. Select the role ARN and copy it. In the ARN when we code the JavaScript within our HTML host page. Next, we will learn how to set up an HTML host page to authenticate users with Web Identity Federation. From the AWS documentation page, aws.amazon.com forward slash documentation, click the Developers tab. Then under Software Development Kits, click AWS SDK for JavaScript. Click the JavaScript in the browser, Getting Started Guide link. Scroll to the bottom of the page and click Configuring the SDK in the browser link. Scroll down and under the Using Web Identity Federation to Authenticate Users, there will be a link titled Configuring Web Identity Federation. Click on that link. Up to this point, we've registered our application with an identity provider, in this case Facebook, We've created an IAM role and set permissions for that role to access get bucket and put bucket operations in the S3 service. On the left side, where the table of contents is listed, click Step 6, putting it all together. We will look at the Facebook login section. Copy the HTML document with the script tag, which references the SDK for browser. You will need to provide your app ID where it lists the sample number 12345678900 next to where it says Facebook app ID. Paste the Facebook app ID in this location. We will also need to provide the IAM role ARN. This page is going to check to see if the Facebook user that's accessing this page is already logged in, and if they are, it will display you are now logged in.
Then, it will provide a button that will launch a Facebook dialog box and allow you to enter your credentials. And then once it runs, you can see under response, fb.login function response. It's going to return an authorized response access token. And I'm going to assign that to web identity token. You can then use the access token provided by your identity provider to call AWS web identity credentials, providing it the role ARN and provider ID, and then assigning the returned access keys to the config.credentials object. And once you have temporary credentials, you're good to go to start calling the various APIs. One last thing I would like to point out here is the provider ID for login for Amazon is www.amazon.com and for Facebook, it's graph.facebook.com. But under Google, you're not actually going to use the provider ID. You can just leave it blank or assign it a null value.